All right, hey, what's up, guys? It's Fusion, and welcome back to a new video. Guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set a custom Minecraft skin for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Before we jump in, guys, go check out FusionHere.com. I have a brand new website. If you guys want to order custom logos, custom thumbnails, or download any of my custom free thumbnail packs, or even contact me about a question you have, anything tech related, this is the place to do it. So guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to not only get a custom skin from online and set it as your Minecraft skin on PC, I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to do it on mobile. If you are here for the mobile tutorial, I will have the timestamp on the screen right now and you can skip to that part of the video to know how to do it that way. But if you are doing this for desktop, here we go. So when you log on to Minecraft on the desktop version, you can see the profile tab right here. If you do select profile, you should be selected on one of the default skins like Alex or Steve. All you want to do to get a custom skin is simply press edit character, go over to these three custom characters here, go to owned, and from here you could either choose from a skin pack that you own or you can select the import button. Once you select the import button, it will have a box here to choose new skin. This will bring up a random folder on your computer most likely, but for me, it brings up my Minecraft skins folder. I'm gonna show you guys how to get these custom skins so that you could easily just press on something, open it, and you have your new skin. For this example, I'm just gonna Google Minecraft skins and the skin decks comes up. I'm gonna select the skin decks and I'm gonna find a random skin in here to use. Once you've found your skin that you wanna use, you just wanna simply click on it, and then to the right, there will be a download button. You wanna select download, and then it will download. Now, if you guys wanna have a Minecraft skins folder like I do, I will show you how to do that also right now. For this example, I went under my documents, created a new folder titled MC, and I'm gonna create another folder inside of MC called skins. Now opened up in skins, I'm going to simply drag my new Darth Vader skin in there, and we're all set. You can close out of your tabs and head back to Minecraft. Now that we're inside of Minecraft again, we should still be selected on the import tab and have the choose new skin button. When I click on this, it may open up in your old folder that you were in, but just navigate to your new folder titled skins. All right, there we go. I found my MC folder and my skins folder, and here's my Darth Vader skin. Now I'm gonna show you guys why you just went through the process of making the folder, because yes, I can select my new skin right now. Now, anytime that I download a new Minecraft skin, I'm gonna save it to that folder, and then when I come back here and choose new skin, it's gonna open up in my custom skins folder. Just like you guys saw before with all my other skins, it just creates a seamless, easy way to change into any custom skins you have. So now that we have this dope Darth Vader skin, let me show you guys how to do this on mobile. All right guys, now that you are on the phone, if you want to change your custom skin, first of all, you want to open up a web browser to get your skin. So we're on Google here. I looked up Minecraft skins. Let's once again go to the skin decks. Should be right down here. Here he is. You wanna scroll down a little bit and you wanna tap on download. When you tap on download, it will take you to another page and it will say viewer download. You want to press download again. But guys, wait, you are not completely done. Now in the top right, you will see a little blue arrow. You wanna tap on this, and as you can see, there's some weird numbers. You wanna tap on those numbers, and it will bring up this really small, separated picture of your Minecraft skin. Don't worry, you don't have to screenshot it or anything like that. Just press the blue box in the bottom left corner, and then choose Save Image. If you are on Android, I'm sure it is very similar. Next, you guys wanna open up your Minecraft app, so here we are. All right, guys, now that I am loaded onto the app, you can see I have no skin. I'm an Alex, so we want to change that. I'm going to press on profile. You want to select create character. You want to tap the characters right here. You want to go to owned. Then you want to select import. You want to press choose new skin. And once you find your skin in your photos and select it, it will bring up this screen once again. Remember, female body type on the left, male on the right. I'm going to select the male. And then you just want to press the X in the top left, back out. And you can see my skin is now updated. All right, so now that we're back from showing you guys how to change your skin into a custom skin on mobile, I thought, why don't I show you guys also how to create your own custom skin? 
So if you guys can see in here, I do have my own little custom, like the homeless guy here. He's pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom skin like this, and it's really easy. So once again, you just want to come over to one of the spots where there's just a skin that you want to replace or whatever you want to do. And you just want to select edit character. Under edit character, instead of going under the three skins tab, you want to go under the face tab. And as you can see, it said it's switching to character creator. Now, when you select body, you can see that you have all sorts of customizations. Base is pretty much like the skin. Under here, you can choose the different types of skin you want. If you want to have like blemishes or clear skin or freckles or whatever you want to have, you can do that right here. As well as if you come under the little paintbrush here, you can change the color of your skin. So if you want to be some sick monster and be yellow, you can very much do that. As well as you can come in here, you can customize the hair to be whatever you want. This is beautiful. And I'm going to give my guy a white afro. Not only that, you can also adjust the arm size, the height. You could change the legs to be a custom thing if you wanted to by purchasing new legs with tokens. And next we have the style tab. Under the style tab, like it seems, you can change your character's shirt as well as pants. You can give him jackets. You can give him certain headwear, gloves, glasses, or even cape type items. After you're done customizing your character, you can click on this tab to get a closer look and then escape, escape, escape and your character is all saved and ready to go. I'm not really sure what this disgusting creature is that I made, but you guys get the point. And after you're done making your new skins, show me what you got in my Discord. My Discord is linked in the description. There's tons of people always in there if you're looking for somebody to play with on whatever game it is, or if you're looking for some help, join my Discord link in the description and show me what skin you've made. Anyways, guys, this has been Fusion. Thank you for watching. I hope I helped you out. And make sure to subscribe and drop a like for more future tutorials on your favorite games and computer software. Anyways, guys, this has been Fusion, and I'll see you later. Hey guys, never want to miss a video? When you subscribe, click the notification bell and you'll get a notification every time I upload. Going 80 in the school zone. Yeah, don't need no measure dome. Yeah, everything I spit is off the top like speak or knock. Everything I say is truth. Yeah, there's no fluff. Why did you have to lie to me?